Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I am Orion. We are checking out the demo for Royal Revolt Warriors, a arena-based horde survival roguelike game. This game is your pretty standard fare. Like, it plays and looks like a lot of these other ones. I think this game is good. I think there is room for improvement, but let's check out kind of what it has to offer. It has your meta progression stuff here. Things like health, HP regen, movement speed, damage, XP gain, things like that. There's a bunch of different quests to unlock to get different weapons, different characters, fun things like that. So let's jump into the game. Right now there's a couple characters. There's the king, there's the advisor, and then there's Krista, daughter of Ulfur, the Viking chieftain. I don't have her yet. I need to save up some more money for her. But each character starts off with a different weapon and then they're kind of good with certain things like cooldown reduction range, uh, and then they're gonna have uh, their own separate stats too. So they're gonna play a little bit differently than each other. We're gonna play as the advisor today because I like her character, so let's start. The one thing this game does that's a little bit weird though, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if this is an intended thing or not, but these barrels, so you're gonna notice when I play, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> there is a map, I'm going to go to where these barrels are and I'm going to find the best spot and they're going to respawn incredibly fast. So there's no quest objectives on the map, which is kind of a bummer because I do think most of these games need that kind of stuff to to be fun and to kind of keep me wanting to play the game. Let's do XP gain, huge XP gain right there. But this one is this one's interesting because these barrels are just going to keep respawning. Uh, I think it's almost when you leave the screen. So we're gonna find a good place where barrels will respawn and we're just gonna keep doing like a circle rotation so I can keep getting gold, food, power-ups, uh, and all that kind of stuff while we're killing these enemies. So this is usually the place I went to last time. So there's kind of four or five barrels that'll respawn in this area and we'll just keep going back and forth. It's, again, it's one of those things where if this game had objectives, map objectives, I wouldn't be able to do this, but since there are no objectives, uh, might as well. Okay, I'm gonna do the extra boomerang. Let's do two boomerangs. See, so the barrels, they just keep respawning. It's it's an interesting thing. I, I can't imagine that's the intended purpose. Okay, let's do walk speed. Because, uh, I mean, the most important thing is we're just gonna go barrel to barrel. See, we're just gonna keep getting gold, we're gonna keep getting health, and then eventually we'll start getting power-ups too. So magnets, everything. So you can see there's nothing really else to do. I, I think the map just shows the barrels. It's a, it's an interesting strategy that I, I uncovered very quickly while playing the game. I was like, wait, the, the barrels seem to be respawning. That's weird. And then just kind of started I figured out this rotation pattern right here where we could just keep going back and forth they don't respawn all the time which is kind of what's interesting too okay let's do more XP gain I really want to unlock more abilities so I think that's what I'll need to do to make this game a little bit more interesting for myself because I don't have a lot of the ability I don't have a lot of the abilities unlocked but we will get a good amount of gold by doing all of this, so. See, so both of these respawns. But like every game like this, a lot of them have, a lot of them don't necessarily offer anything unique, but they're still good games. And that's kind of what I feel about this one. This one's a good game. But again, it just, it doesn't do anything that makes me go, oh wow, I I have to keep playing this game. Other than, you know, maybe unlocking some abilities and seeing what they do and things like that. But why am I gonna play this game for 30 or 40 hours like some of the other ones, you know? Like Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic has a huge hook to it with all the different builds you can do. There's so many things to unlock and things like that. Um, let's do attack speed. And then other games like Soulstone Survivors, there's just an insane amount of content in these games. 
So it's hard to it's hard to say this game's gonna make the rotation for a lot of people when there's not a ton of content here. But I can't judge, you can't really judge too much. This is just a demo. But I mean, you can give a good, you could give a better first impression, you know? But again, this game's not bad. Okay, so now the dialogue too on this is a little bit out of place too. It sounds like a Doom or Quake Rampage, you know, but this is a whimsical fantasy game. So why, why is the dialogue like Rampage? Right, That's, it seems so out of place. All right, I need, where's my abilities? Let's do XP gain again. <laughs> we haven't, I know there's more abilities in this game. We haven't seen any in a little while. So the bomb will blow everybody up. See, and that's why we just keep going back and forth. We'll get bombs, we'll get rampages, we'll get extra health, we'll get money. We'll get magnets. There is no dash in this game. Unfortunately, I wish the game did have a dash. I'm not sure why they don't put dashes in these games. I definitely need to get another ability here, though. It's kind of odd that we haven't seen another ability in a little while. Okay, let's do the monk's brew. This will get bigger and bigger. Right now, it's gonna start off kind of weak. There is a one of these upgrades we get will kind of buff up the size of everything, including our cells. So that'll be pretty good for this one too. We can go, let's go look around the map just to kind of see what else there is that the map has to offer. Right, because it's got a nice little vibe to it. I I like the graphics. I like I like that it's kind of whimsical and colorful and vibrant. I enjoy games that have that aesthetic instead of just the dark undertones every time. Which is why it's so weird when this game does certain things that sort of take it seem like out of place with the whole Quake voiceover thing. See, it's I, I honestly think you're at a detriment if you <laughs> if you try to go around the map too much. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good bomb. Gotta get all this XP now. Okay, let's do boomerang attack speed. Okay, now let's go back to our spot. We've seen what we need to see. Now let's go back to our spot and just get super powerful. Because again, this is just the easiest farming method too. Getting gold. I don't know if there's a, I'm, there might be a better spot than this, but this one's pretty good. Okay, let's do max HP. Do you like the rare page, right? That, that doesn't, that doesn't fit the game very well. All right, let's do armor. Let's get our 10 gold. Oh, six gold. Thought that was a 10 stack. Okay, let's do walk speed. Yeah, there should still be, you know, there's a fireball spell we can get. I'm not sure what other ones there are in this game, but we haven't seen the fireball spell at all either. We haven't seen a brewmaster upgrade yet either in a while. There's the brewmaster. 
Okay, let's do the attack area. So we have to survive 20 minutes. And I actually haven't clear. I mean, I've only really done one, one and a half tries at this game. So eventually I think the game just got too hard for me to beat and I probably just needed more meta progression. Because eventually the enemies do sort of overwhelm you and it doesn't matter how many of these power-ups I get. I, I won't be strong enough to kill them. See, and even that, that says magnet. It's like this. Let's do the... Okay, let's do plus two base damage. We need to get, I want to find, I guess we need some sort of power up here that's going to give me a bomb or something. Just health. More health, that's good. Gold. See, <laughs> I love, they just keep respawning. Just incredibly fast respawn timers. Okay, there's a bomb, finally. Okay, let's do the, the staff. Let's finally get a new spell here. Let's throw some fireballs now. What does he drop? Oh, he just drops a ton of XP. We'll have to... I'm gonna have to do a loop around for him. Okay, I think we kill these guys pretty much instantly with our special attack. Or our radius attack. Okay, let's do extra projectile. Do attack area. It will do max HP. I think max HP is going to be pretty important. Especially if I want to make it far into this run. I'm surprised we haven't seen the other one. There's another upgrade, too, that sort of increases our size of everything. You know, it gives us, like, 100% attack area. Okay, let's do attack speed for that. I think the... I don't know if that attack speed was for everything. It might have been. Oh, wait, there's a bomb. I gotta get this bomb. Okay, now we need to get some health again. So you can see why you die eventually, because... Enemies just overwhelm you, and we don't do enough damage to kill them all. Oh, here's the one, finally. The magnifier, that's what it's called. Another bomb. Okay, but we need health. Let's do max health again. And okay, there's a little bit of health. We might have to do a big loop now. No, okay, let's go. We can use our rampage to get what we need, hopefully. Okay, no health yet, though, huh? There's a little bit. Okay, 
It looks like we got a little bit of relief here with just these little guys attacking us. Okay, let's do the base damage. There's a good upgrade or a food upgrade. Okay, well just like that, we're kind of back to full health. Six minutes left. I can't remember how long I survived my first round. It was probably somewhere around here. Magnifier. Magnifier. See, it should be like, magnifier. I don't know, like a fairy should be saying it or something. Let's do the attack speed. Right? Not some demon. Why is a demon saying it? Five more minutes. There's some cheese. I think cheese does 10, bread does 25, and then the big piece of meat does 50 or 75. So we want to see the meat the most. Okay, we're gonna gotta run through this. Okay, there's the meat, 50. Man, just so many enemies pop up. I don't even think it matters if I do a loop or not. Could have just ran through them. We gotta go back to our spot though. Oh, look at this boss. He looks annoying. Is he glitching out? What is he doing? <laughs> All right, let's do attack area. That boss not come oh there he is. I was about to, I was about to, I was wondering where it was. This guy is super annoying. Look how fast he is. How am I supposed to even get to him? Oh my gosh, look at all these orcs. That's too many orcs. It's too many. It's too many. <laughs> We're definitely gonna probably die here. I, unless I get some sort of rampage or magnifier. Well, I guess I probably need the rampage, I would think. Oh man, my pickup range sucks. Okay, more gold. I'm not going to complain about more gold, but that's not going to help me win. This might be it. Oh, there's a level up. Let's do attack area. I need something good here. I need a big health. I need a power up. We keep getting gold. I keep getting just the gold. I don't need the gold. I mean, I do need the gold, but... Okay, let's do attack speed. Right? How many times in a row have we gotten gold without getting a heal? Ooh, 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 they're hitting hard. Come on. Oh, there's the Rampage. It's a little something. Another Rampage. 
an amplifier. No health, though. Come on. I need a health super bad here. Okay, let's do the max HP. Come on, game. No, stop giving me gold. <laughs> I need... I need a wishbone. Or a big piece of ham, whatever it is. There's two minutes left. I would be curious to see what the ending is like, so I, I would love to see... I would love to see what happens if we can get enough... Enough to survive here. It's not looking promising, though. This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh! What are the odds? <laughs> it is still n maybe not enough. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I need another ham. Okay, there's a cheese. How much? There's no way. I'm not surviving another minute and a half here. I'm not getting out of this area. I can't dead. Dang. Rip. Oh, man. I definitely think that was my best. Okay, so we did unlock some new stuff finally. We got Kunai, uh, Poison, Poison's Enemies, and Ignores, Ignores Armor. Oh, that was the only thing we got. Then we almost got this trinket. So let's go to continue. Okay, let's do some meta upgrades here. So we got 1,700 gold. Let's see. We could do attack speed. This game does the thing, too, where you buy something and kind of everything increases. We could do... Probably should do more health. And then I do like the health regen. So let's go with those for now. Okay, and then that's all we can afford. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for Royal Revolt. Uh, again, this game's interesting. I think it's just one of those things. It just takes one simple... I don't know how simple it is. I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but it just takes one addition. Give me some map objectives. Give me some quests to do on the map. That's that's what makes your game a lot better. It doesn't. I don't think it matters how good the game looks, um, how whimsical it is like this game is, because this game does have a lot of charm to it. But this game's not going to have any longevity if they don't put enough content in here for you just need to do map objectives, map quests give people something to do while they're playing their game some randomized map quests that's all it would take to just sort of ruin the monotonous of going back and forth from barrel to barrel so i hope that the devs listen to whatever criticism comes in for this game because i like the vibes i like the the vibrant colorfulness of this game there's not a lot of, there's most games go for the dark vibe now i like to see these colorful ones every once in a while so i really hope that they can add some more stuff to this game for the early access or actual release, whatever they're planning on doing. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great... Oh, wait. Make sure to like and subscribe. Now you can have a great rest of your day. See ya.